So I read in an article this morning that psychologists agree that three of our biggest needs are one, to feel morally clean, two, to feel safe, three, to feel significant. Um, now when you think about that, morally clean, probably not something that we think about all the time, like, you know, wake up thinking, oh, I wanna be morally clean today, you know? Um, but we have a very clear sense of when we feel right and when we don't feel right and we're constantly trying to justify ourselves and meet some kind of standard. Um, always, there's always a standard that we're measuring ourselves with, right? And so we wanna know, am I measuring up? Am I meeting expectations? Am I exceeding expectations? Do I feel good about who I am? Um, so it's interesting, you know, morally clean is not something we would think about but it definitely is in there safe without a doubt right um our foundations are crumbling all all around us uh, every institution that we need to rely on is uh has a shaky foundation right now uh, the family uh certainly government uh and even the church uh, a lot of times does not provide the feeling of safety and security that we need so we yearn for that and of course, significance. Um, everybody wants to impact the world, uh, but nobody really wants to pursue the character that it takes to impact the world. Uh, we, want, uh, we want the skills and the recognition and the fame without the character. Uh, but we want to be significant, you know? We want to be purpose-filled. Now listen to this, so uh, 1 Corinthians 6, 11 speaks to all three of these in one verse. Paul is talking about talking to uh, the church in Corinth that that really had a major past um, of indulgence in things of this world, and this church came out of it, and yet they still struggled in it a little bit. And he was reminding them who they were, and then this point where uh, God met them in a sweet, special, life-changing way. And he says, "This you were." Basically, hey, remember, you were washed. You were sanctified. You were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. So he addresses all that, all three of those things that we yearn for, that we would say are our biggest needs, all in one shot. He said you were washed, so you were made morally clean. Uh, that, yeah, there is a standard, and it's the standard is created by the one who designed us. It was put in us. There is a standard, and we want to feel morally right, morally clean. And so he says that you were washed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You were justified, right? And that's, that makes us feel safe. You know, we're constantly trying to justify ourselves. I'm trying, to, uh, I'm trying to work hard to get the promotion, and if I get to a certain level, I'll feel good about myself. Uh, we wanna feel safe. We don't wanna feel like we're on the chopping block all the time. But in Christ, see, in Christ, at the cross, Jesus won for us a right relationship with God. He won that for us. We don't have to earn it. We don't have to prove ourselves. We submit our lives to Christ and, and his record becomes our record. That is what justification is. So I no longer have to strive to justify myself by my good deeds or by uh, impressing anybody. No, I am approved of because of what Christ won on the cross and because of his life. I don't have to measure up my life now because I get the full credit of being justified in the eyes of God because of the life that Jesus lived and the death that he died on my behalf. So that makes me feel safe in him. And then thirdly, significant. It says you were sanctified. And that, that means set apart for a higher purpose, right? And the purpose is to bring him glory and to further his kingdom. That means to impact the world, my world, my neighborhood, my church, my workplace, my friends, my family, strangers at Walmart, everybody. I now have a new purpose. I'm significant, not because I'm all that incredible. I'm not, I'm not impressive at all. Uh, but a life uh, dedicated and set apart 
for the glory of Jesus Christ is so significant. It is so purpose-filled. You will not struggle with purpose if you submit your life to Christ. It gets better and better every day, every year, every decade. So I hope you're encouraged by this. Uh, appreciate you listening. Have a great day.